Welcome back, everybody. We're on to part six of the Dem Dog Gaming and plays Game Dev Tycoon. Last episode, we went to the GamesCon, not the GamesCon G3, which is games, games, games. So we just released Fashion Police. We did this on a medium-sized publishing deal. Now, we don't get all the money for it, but I think we got about nine percent. Quote me on that. Don't quote me on that. So we're gonna dive back into it. We're gonna go for another medium published game, and we'll see what we can get through this episode. Loading, loading. And here we are, our game report from Fashion Police. Fashion RPG is a great combination. Engine seems to be not important to this type of game. Platform audience match everyone to Venegear is great. This game is going to help us. And he is off to vacation. Bye, Bill. Have fun on vacation, wherever you decide to go. All right, so we sold over a million units. This was a publishing deal, though, too. So we don't get all those profits. We got those profits to be nuts. We be, we be almost set to move into the next office. I mean, we be getting up there fast. But it's year eight, month eleven. We're already in this office. We've been in this office for like two, three years now, and that is awesome to see this jump up in the beginning so fast like that. All right. So we have some research points. We have the money we could. Um, let's look at what kind of research we have. What kind of projects we still have running. We don't have any research open. If I wanted to develop a new custom engine, I can go with the new because it's graphics levels, multiplayer, character progression. I think we're, we're going to make a new game engine because we have like five, six new features we could drop into it. All right. So it's going to be a $420,000 engine. Well, we're going to build it. We're going to go with it. We'll see how this works. Boss, it seems like quite a few players use illegal copies of Fashion Police. They managed to identify some of them. We could sue them or we could just send them warnings. Um, this is where I go. This is where I think most companies should go. Warn them. It's it's a couple thousand, maybe even tens of thousands of dollars. But we sold a million copies. We've made a lot of money off of this. Ooh, what was the market trending? Ah, I think it was actually trending towards what we released on Fashion Police. All right, then the game has received lent warnings. Piracy is going to be a big problem. Hmm. We gained two hundred twelve fans. Oh yes. We got 1.2 million in sales. Got like a dollar a copy. Huh. And I think we could have had 10 times 10 times that. New game engine is complete. All right. Let's go build something with it. Develop a sequel. Where is our game that put us way up there? Kitten cuddle. Select. Build to a medium game. We can go young. Um, the game link still out and still holds a big part of the market share, so we're going to build on that. This is great. This is going to blow everything out. Puppy paws. All right, the idea of the game is you want to take care of your puppy's paws. You can't let them rock, walk on the wrong things. All right, so we're going to start development. Here we go. Oh, boy. One other guy's notification right away. All right, so casual game. I'm going to jack casual, bring this down. We're going to introduce multiplayer and character progression. So that's going to do is get your puppies play together. It's going to let your, I'll bring our engine up just a little bit. It's not super important though. All right. And we're going to bring in character progression, which is going to allow you to help develop how your puppy goes along with his puppy-tastic life. All right. As soon as we release the second section, we're going to jump up the hype. We're going to introduce some marketing. I'm going to throw in some medium level marketing and see what happens here. The second of four tiers. All right, throw in some better AI, but casual isn't all that important. Dialogue really isn't that important either. We're gonna jump up on level level design, bring our artificial intelligence to a meh kind of level. All right, I've worked myself pretty hard. Other guys are working 59%. We should be pretty set to jump into the next part. Oh, we gotta do marketing, 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 marketing. Magazines and demos. There we go. Money out on that. So our, our monthly cost was 96000 We have a day and night cycle. I'm going to introduce into this as well. Um, it's a casual game. I think sound is actually somewhat important for a casual game. Uh, I'll leave world design up. I'm going to bring graphics down. I'll keep sound. A little higher than graphics, actually. Uh, then we'll move these around. Whatever. I'm not too, too concerned about the experience we'll gain off of this. I just want to push anyone too hard. Give Scott Rogue a little push for before we let him go for his vacation. In two months of Venegear will be taken off the market. 
Well, that game we just released made a good run on it. In this game, between this game and the engine, we have put over a million dollars into these, including our monthly expenses as well. There goes the bugs. Design tech is pretty decent ratio. We'll see how these goes. Both new records on both of them. Two level fours. Branching story and stereo sound. Okay, we're going to send you on vacation. You're not going to do anything like that yet. How about now? Nope. Okay, research. Yes, we have some stuff like that. You do this. You do research too. Stereo sound. All right, get these out of there. Here we go. Game reviews. Put the pauser in. Ooh. Ooh. Helpful hint and a high number. Gold in there. Oh, I dropped into seven. Ooh, what is this? Ah, ooh, another nine. Ooh. Generic comments, but there is one good comment. Thank you, Star Games. Plus, you also give us time for the sec for the highest rating. This should go nuts. Come on, come on, come on, come on. The sequel, newest game in the series, titled Puppy Paws, was met with great responses. Plus, we have this. This is just dropping in right now. This is a great setup. Um, releasing right around G3, which apparently goes month six, week two. So we'll try to remember when that comes through. That should help jack our pop, help jack our sales. All right, so we're gonna get done researching. Generate that game report. Let's see, what kind of research can we do? We can do a new topic. Ooh, pirate. Ooh, racing simulation. Here we go. All right, game report. Post release analysis, game report. Here we go. Engine seems not all that important for this type of game. Platform genre match, casual gaming is great. Virtual and the virtual pet. For young and the virtual pet is great. So virtual pet on the game link for young people is a super solid thing jumping up. And you can see that we've already made our money back. We're starting to make profit off of it, including the engine deficit, which is half a million dollars. All right. So I want to develop a new game. We have a racing simulation out. Um, racing, I want to do a simulation. I want to do this out in the play system. Even though this can cost a $200,000 license, we're going to put it out in Game Engine 4. We're going to go everyone. Let's go. Racing Rockets. Is how we're running with this game. Even though it's not a space game, we're flying like rockets. Start using 3D Graphics V2. There we go. Engine's pretty decent. We're not 100% sure on it. Stories and quests can really drop out. Do as much as it needs. I'm gonna, all right. Eh. I'm going to top off that gameplay and bring the stories and quests just back up so we can do just what we need to do. All right, so, okay. Get away from Gamers, go where the Tim Dogs working on a new game. Yes, I would love to be able to do an interview about this. All right, so here we go. Seconds part. Artificial intelligence on simulation, I believe, is pretty highly ranked. Dialogue, I think, came in okay, but level design was up there. Yeah. Mm, I'm going to switch these. There we go. All right, so we're using all the features. Um, you can switch up features. You don't want to use all of your features in the first set. Like you're planning to release a sim right away or something like that. You built a new engine just like we did. You release a game and you want, you're want you planning on doing a sequel like in the minimum time frame afterwards, which is pretty quick. Um, graphics are going to jump. Sound's going to be up there. And world designs, it's going to be meh. Oh, it actually gets us really close to where we want to be. I'm going to bring the sound down here, bring the old design down a little further. There we go. Might help a help ratings, but it's going to jack our experience. Two, almost 2.6 million in sales. We made our money back. And it paid for its own engine, too. Oh, we have marketing to do. Magazines and demos. There we go. Ooh, hype is over a hundred. This game releases with any kind of bit of any decent reviews like i'm talking like seven eight nine plus then this is gonna rock as soon as puppy has quite a few undiscovered bugs some requests are having a bad time with this and demand we patch the game we will patch the game right away all right here we go new records for both plus new topic management there we go level five level four level two and three graphics off the second game 
and dialogues jump to level four, which is the only one lagging behind. All right, there we go. Release game. Increasing salary, guys jumps to 44k. Special training available for me. We can now research the dialogue tree. All right, I want you to develop a patch. I want you to research the dialogue tree. I want me. Wait for the reviews to come through so I can generate. Hey, game report. Select. You have 798,000 to this game. Here comes the reviews. Okay. Hope that's bottom end of that. Hoping, hoping. Nine. Okay. Some generic comments. We're not the biggest fans of those. All right. Let's give me a nice one. All right. All right. 8.25, I believe, is the average right there. Close. Right in the third. Something like that. All right. Everyone's doing work. Money's going through. Mm -hmm. The game just paid for itself in the first week. All right. We predicted that was going to be uber successful. It's going to set very positive views. This is a very positive effect on sales. So we should see this come up. Up, 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 up. There we go. There we go. That's a game that's making good money. It isn't a boom game, but it's making good money. Game look exceedingly good. That's great to hear. Post-release analysis, racing simulation is a great combination. Graphics seems to be quite important for this type of game. And platform match to everyone play system is great. Awesome. Tons of big things there. Self-publishing medium games are most efficient when we have 100,000 fans. Publishing deals can give us great exposure and help us reach more players. We're at 23,000 and we're successfully releasing medium-sized games. All right. So I love companies like Demdog Gaming. Thank you. We really appreciate you, one van. They don't just milk their customers for more money, but they also understand our concerns and make sure that we can enjoy our games. You're welcome for that patch, but one fan. I hope that you enjoy it to its maximum extent. And I hope you come back and buy more games. Because that keeps our company going. Alright, so what are we going to do now? <sighs> Research. What's our new topic? Do we have a new topic? Hacking. Hmm. Some people might be into hacking. I really don't know where to go with on developing something for hacking. Pirate has always run pretty well. I think, I'm thinking Pirate Adventure Game. So we'll run with that. Uh, we'll just let him train that. Research that through. Though training is good. Training is really good. Uh, what's the new topic? Medieval. Ooh. How about the next one? We'll just grab a bunch of topics quick. Sports. Sports is easy to do. All right. All right, so I'm going to develop a new game. We could develop a sequel. Um, how do fashion police really do? Gamed a little bit. Uh, in the West, Undead to Dead, the Inspector, UFOs Attack. That one did pretty well. Constructive 10, Wearman. I'm going to test. Okay, okay, okay. That's a lot of games. All right. Hmm. Do one off of UFO's attack. It's a Venegear everyone UFO action game. I'm accepting of that. We'll run this sequel and we'll create a new game as well. Pirates. Everyone. So we're going to go with action, which we know is a great combo. Platform. We're going to release this on the play system. Again. More games of the play system. All right. 330k to develop this game to start minus the add-ons and we're going to call it UFOs attack again that big exclamation point at the end uber big exclamation point um what does it need for me to oh pick a genre mm, action there we go there we are All right, so here we go. We're gonna leave all the features in. We have money. We can toss these into the game. All right, so I'm gonna bring my engine back. So engine quests are even less important. I feel like eh, engine. I think has to be somewhat there. Engine is nice. Uh, Story quest is bottoming out. There we go. We'll start with that. See how this goes. Recent rockets produced 4.5 million in sales, and we had about a million into it. A little over a million. 
All right. The 64 is just about to come out. Yup. This is how fast we got into this office. Impressive console. Vendo. This is a 64-bit crap graphics capability places is only a 32 bit so it's got that new style of architecture and also deserves a strange trend rightly where players around the world seem to develop a curious taste for unusual games strange combinations oh, i just started a game too I drop this game. Can I just stop using this game? <laughs> oh, what'd you know? This is already set for this. Whee! Okay. There we go. Um, either way, I want to market this. But I probably won't market it as much as I would have. The nice part is, uh, yeah, month six, week two is when that came out. So we have, yeah, there's the notification right there. Small booth. Those are all set fairly well. Oh, make sure World Design has everything it needs. There we go. Probably should have bounced those out better. Oh well. There's a trend towards strange combinations now as I'm trying to release a bigger game. Good thing I didn't do the pirate game though. Click, 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 tick, tick. Just released the Nintendo 64. I wonder how much hype will gain off of this. We're at 11. Pay attention to this number. If it adds another digit, that'd be amazing. Be so happy. 68,000. Ooh, we got to 58. We're gaining people at our booth. Click. There we go. New record in design. We just level 5 in gameplay. Sweet. We didn't max that out, so. Re re yeah. Research. Superheroes, that's pretty easy to work with. All right, I'm gonna do training on the other guys. You are my design guy, so I'm gonna balance you and bring you higher. I am the generate report guy, apparently. First reviews came in for UFO attack, UFOs attack again. Eight, eight's not bad, that's sticking high. Nine, UFO action is a great combination. We knew this, we developed that with this in mind. All right. In our 8.25 level game, we need to amp that up a little more. We need to see better stuff going through that. Oh, he needs a vacation. Lovely. Well, at least he's not far into it, and he's the first one done, so I can send him off. All right, he's still working on that. Sequel. Great responses. Crick's praise the UFO's attack again. Had a newer engine than the original, really driving technical innovation. All right. So we're seeing good sales off of it. That's good, even though the trend is not going that way. Um, stories and quests seems to be not be important for this type of game. Um, platform genre match, action play system is great. Everyone UFO is great. So that big part going for us. We're gaining fans with every single week. All right, almost we're at the twenty k, twenty eight k now, which is beautiful. I think we're gonna go ahead and do some training just to try to bring my guys up. Um, don't repeat yourself. We'll see. I want to see how these go. Um, I'll try that one. You try this one. And I want... Ooh, I have the boost option now for special. I either have 500, 500 design or 500 tech points. It talks a million credits. But apparently a lot of people really like it. So we might try it. We'll see. Until then, we're going to code incomplete, which I believe is research. All right, so if I go back into training... I can check this. This is technology and design. This is primarily the research is make me think. Game design is design. Coding complete is technology. So don't repeat yourself must be speed, which is we're about to find out because he's improving his speed. Yep, there's a plus seven right there. Beautiful. All right, so his speed's getting up there. We'll check that, make sure. Yep, speed by three. Beautiful. All right. Well, that concludes the episode for today, you guys. Thanks for stopping by. Enjoy the rest of your Friday. If you guys will take a quick second, please do hit the thumbs up button to rate this video. Leave a comment. Give me some game ideas. We're trying to look for things. We're in a bigger office pretty early in the game. We still have in our 20 years, 20, yeah, 20-ish, 20 to 20 to 30 years left in the game 
on, that we keep getting game consoles releasing and such and game events. After that, we can continue and keep going, which we probably will. But that's what we have for you guys today. Thanks for stopping by. Click subscribe to get the quickest updates and newest videos. And like us on Twitter because I said the settings set for when I upload a video, it instantly goes to Twitter out. And I also try to keep the update, Facebook updated, but that's a little less reliable. Thanks for stopping by, guys. Enjoy the rest of your weekend.